KX News is thanking veterans by sharing how their service has impacted our nation. Tonight, Cameron Brewer brings us the story of a veteran with three decades of service and provides some insight on what a privilege and honor it is to be a veteran, especially from the Peace Garden State. Meet Command Sergeant Major Eric Benstock, Sr., North Dakota National Guard senior enlisted leader. He knew he wanted to join the military since he was a kid and explore the opportunities military service provided. When I joined the uh, National Guard, I was first off I was looking for uh, more opportunity, adventure, a chance just to see the world. He comes from a military family, his dad and brothers all serving in the Army. Being a veteran um, is not only fulfilling as far as uh, what it means to be a veteran, but just the accomplishments that uh, the military as a whole has accomplished. In 2003, he deployed to Iraq in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. That it was early stages of the, uh, the war on terrorism, and uh, North Dakota definitely did a great job. I had a great experience when we deployed, and I deployed as um, a squad leader at that time, which is an E6, E6, a staff sergeant. In 2011, he was deployed to Kuwait, during Operation Enduring Freedom. Uh, it, was a, it was a great mission. Uh, we had uh, construction jobs all over Kuwait, uh, both for the military and some for the Kuwait Ministry of Defense. But there's more to learn about Benstock as the Guard's senior enlisted leader. He's been a frequent participant in the National Guard's Bureau State Partnership Program. This indeed repairs to North Dakota National Guard with three foreign nations. This partnership allows for collaboration and joint efforts with foreign countries providing training in construction and combat engineering, medical chaplain, and as well as military disaster response. The countries we partnership with are Ghana, Togo, and Benin, all located in West Africa. When he formally assumes duties as the North Dakota National Guard's State Command Sergeant Major, he will make history as the first non-commissioned officer to serve in both positions. The senior enlisted leader's position is part-time, while the state command sergeant major job is full-time. He assured a leave of absence from his civilian job with the U.S. Department of Homeland Security in order to accept this new position. At 11 a.m. today, he officially relinquished his duties as the North Dakota Guard senior enlisted leader in charge in the first change of responsibility ceremony today. And at 2 o'clock, he assumed the duties of the full-time state command sergeant major in the second change of responsibility ceremony.